Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Victory at Sea Pacific as the United States. So this is uh, the time when we get to make the very fun decision, what do we want our fleets to be? Where do we want our first group of sorties to go? And this is probably the most important uh, this time for this decision. I things generally in a war snowball, so your first decisions are your most important. I already kind of have an idea. I think we're just going to let the mechanics of the situation speak for themselves. I'm going to grab the three Northampton cruisers, uh, Chicago, Northampton, and Chester. I'm going to give these guys their own group, and I'm going to have them, uh, I'm going to have the Clemson classes attached to them. So the Litchfield, the Hovey, and the Chandler, I believe, are all I think those are all the Clemson class. Okay, good. So it'll be kind of an odd group in that it's three uh, heavy cruisers and three um, destroyers. So I would say it's, you know, a little top heavy as far as fleet composition goes. And this group is going to be in charge of, I mean, I, I don't know what they'll do yet, but that this is just a group which makes sense to me. In fact, if we had other, I mean, note that we do have another carrier coming, the Saratoga, with the Concord, which has um, very good anti-aircraft capabilities. We also have um, Task Force 2 here, which has a, a Pensacola and a Richmond. And this is also, these are also very good for anti-aircraft. So these will probably be ships which eventually join my carrier task force. Um, honestly, the Northampton stuff are ideally suited for helping our battleships since they're slow. Um, our battleships are all around 21 knots until we get the uh, North Carolina class, and that won't be for a while. So um, I think that these guys will just move to Johnston Island as a screening force for now. Uh, not, not even, I guess screening force isn't even the correct word. It's... I don't... Oh wait, no. No. Damn it. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, merge. Okay. Baker goes into Charlie. Charlie becomes its own fleet. Good. Okay, so 19 is going to form its own circle and go to Johnston Atoll. Okay, repair and resupply there. Very good. So they're all upgraded, they're all ready to go. They also have very good um, anti-submarine capabilities. In fact, they have radar now as well. I probably shouldn't move things directly in a straight line. We already have units going in a straight line. So... I think I'm gonna do something like scout like this. Like so. And then I'll get someone else to complete the top side of the trapezoid. Maybe my... I think I'm going to get my Portland class, which I only have one of, but I will eventually want more. So the Portland and the Indy. Ah, yes, the Indy has to <laughs> has to come back and get upgraded first. But that's, those are... I think it's a very, very natural formation to let the... Um, so we have some Clemsons here. I forgot about these Clemsons. Sorry. These Clemsons. Are these all Clemsons? Off camera, by the way, I set every fleet to the smiley face except for the ones in combat. Um, yeah, so these are three Clemson class. Okay, good. These are all going to be designated to a different group. They're fast enough to work in carrier groups, although they don't really add much in terms of AA. So we'll let those guys come back. Oh yeah, that's right. We're still bombing this one destroyer, the uh, the unsinkable destroyer down there or over there, up there. Uh, Terrawa, the assault's going well. I'm not going to look at this because I found it's a little bit buggy. I'm just going to let USS Drum do her thing. And she is... She has already succeeded in launching one torpedo. Maybe she has sunk one. I mean, we can probably keep track. 653, so if she did launch a torpedo, I guess she didn't hit. Or maybe the torpedo is still en route. All right, and then the other thing I wanted to do is I know that there should be some submarines around Pearl Harbor. I actually don't know where, but I, they should still be around somewhere. So we're going to get some... Catalinas to go off on ASW patrol. Okay. 
I think four is good for now. I'm just going to cover the basics, like fanning out a cone that will encompass the route to Midway, also encompass the route to Johnston Island. Uh, we'll just, and then if anybody else comes up, we have two in reserve that we can help assist uh, in any kind of follow-up attack on, on any submarines we find. Okay, so that's good. So the remainder, I need to also break out my... The big, the most important one now is to get these carriers going. So, Lexington, Enterprise are going to form a group. And with them, I want the Salt Lake City. Absolutely. We're going to keep the Portland here because she'll run with um, the Indy. And now, which of these do I want to stay? Well, I guess I want the Porter because she is a good in fleets. She's like, what I, that's what I was saying, right? She's, uh, and the Balch. So these are very good um, fleet destroyers. Do I need four destroyers? I don't think so. I think the Mar one of these just randomly, uh, I guess the Mari, is going to go join this. And this is my very, very lightly equipped um, carrier task force right now. Assault Lake City, I believe, is fast enough that she won't slow us down. The slowest should be the Enterprise at 32.5. The Lexington class is actually 33.25, so just barely 0.75 knots faster, just a hair faster. And this group, now upgraded, I want them to make um, probably an attack on Wake Island. We can scout and then also attack. How many? So yeah, Salt Lake City has four um, spotters for her of her own, so we can even preserve the fighters. So we're gonna get this group. I'm debating whether or not the two cruisers, three destroyers. That seems that seems right to me. Okay, so let's get this group to form its own. Task Force Twenty. Uh, I also probably should just name this, not just Task Force Twenty. It is very special. So let's go to Fleet. This will be Carrier Task Force Carrier Task Force Able. In fact, I can put CTF Able like that. In fact, I can probably just do it like that. So CTF Able is separating from uh, the rest of the ships at Pearl Harbor. Her first voyage is going to be to move towards. I'm just going to move towards uh, Wake Island. I don't know what we'll exactly do there, but there we go. Uh, three destroyers is not a whole lot. Really is not. What do we have coming here? Hmm. Let's look at what this group is. Destroyer leader. Okay, the Clark, I may have to detach her so she can go faster. <laughs> and get her just to make her way directly to... Well, I guess we need her to upgrade still. Okay, so we'll do it this way. First, go upgrade so you can just immediately... So as soon as you're in port... Oh, you're in port, good. Let's do your upgrade. 25, we barely have enough, but we do have enough. You're upgraded. Okay, now go ahead and head, just head this way and we'll eventually have you meet up with the fleet. The good thing about these, I think they also have good range. Uh, it doesn't show their range here. Let's probably show their range if we can build them at Pearl Harbor. Oh, we can't build them yet. Okay, so we don't know the range, but it, it's pretty its pretty long. Good, so let's unpause, and what, what is it that we want to focus on right now? That That's fine, that's going fine. Let's look at this bombing run, or dare I jinx it by looking at it again. <laughs> let's just see if they get the job done on their own. So we'll just start to advance time on our own. Get her done. Nope. Oh, yep, we did. Okay, that was actually cool. We saw the delay of the bombs actually dropping. <laughs> Pretty cool. And we have our ASW net fanning out from Pearl Harbor momentarily. So I think everything's going pretty well. 653 still. 
launch one torpedo. We might have to just control that and have some fun with the, the submarines. Okay, so that little action at Midway's over. There's our ASW crew spidering outward. Yeah, good. So this is like the first moment I feel like I'm able to catch my breath and kind of relax and let the theater just kind of develop on its own for a little bit. Okay, wow, it's done. We've occupied Macon Toll. <laughs> Fantastic. And look at that. We now have the Colorado class battleships available, so we basically have upgraded in our XP. And the Porter class, okay, the destroyers. Now we can look at the range. And get 500 war bonds, which is, wow, nothing to sneeze at. In fact, we probably want to immediately use that. I mean, I know we want to immediately use that. Let's first just take a look at the destroyer leader, which we have now access to. Uh, somewhere here. And we'll probably use the remainder of the funds. There she is. So, range of 6,000, 6,300. It's quite good. The Gridley herself has 5,000. I think the Clemson might be even less than that. Yeah, not quite 5,000. So the putting the Gridley, she, she actually can come from all the way from Mare, um, from San Francisco, and probably attach to a fleet without needing to resupply first, which is good because the fleet, I mean, five knots difference is obviously <laughs> not a lot for all the ground. She has tons of ground to catch up to make up, and she won't be able to do it. We'll have to wait. If we do any kind of patrolling, I mean, she'll just be very late catching up to the whatever task force she eventually joins. Okay, so the next thing I think is we just turn our sights immediately to Tarawa. Um, I do want to, it's only prudent, I would say, to um, fan out some scouting ships. Scouting uh, aircraft, I should say. We're gonna launch a bunch from the Louisville. Just nervous about being attacked, obviously, from the west. Um, let's do something like... I don't want to go too far this way because we're our fleet task force is going to head south. So I want to make sure that we don't outrun the range of our planes. And the last one... Is this the last one? So I'm pause for a second. Let those guys start deploying. We probably should also make sure we're not going to encounter anything this way. <laughs> that's the only one I haven't done. So we'll see a, a web of scout planes launching from the Louisville. And actually I really should be using the Yorktown. Yeah, I guess it's also probably time... Oh wow, the, the torpedo bombers don't have the range for this. So it's Dauntless or nothing. I don't want to waste my Dauntless against this. I think what we're going to do is it takes seven days for you to replenish the ability to Amphibious Assault. So I think we're just going to move our task force in that direction. Now this task force, as soon as we take Tarawa, I mean, I don't even know if we want her to stay here seven days, a full week. We, we need her to come back and refit and join so that it's two carriers strong. I'm very worried about encountering the Japanese Navy. Um, what is it? The... Uh, any of their carrier task force, any of their carrier groups. Uh, with a seen single lone carrier, we'd be just completely overrun. Oh, but as I said, let's go ahead and build the next ship. So we have one Gato class building. And here is the Colorado. The difference, torpedo belt, armor deck, this one only has torpedo belt. Damage 72 versus 71, basically the same. 21 versus 21.4, basically the same there. 6,000, 8,000, Colorado has, yeah, that, those are both pretty long range. Armor 5 for both. Um, this is 8 16 inch guns, so that should be longer range. And this is 12 14 inch guns. So I guess the edge, I give it slightly to the Colorado, but the actual the the best question to ask is actually well, we don't have enough money to uh, compare. But what are their upgrades like? So I believe 
if it's paused, we can actually build this and then cancel it immediately for a full 390 refund. So if this is a full 390 refund, we should be back to 616. Yeah, good. So let's build that again and just see what the upgrade is. So their upgrade is gonna have seven anti-aircraft and three more local and plus two more aircraft flights. Interesting. They already have three. I don't know why you would need five. <laughs> they're just scout planes, you know, they're not gonna do much. They do have bombs, but the bombs are only one damage, so like almost nothing. Now the Pennsylvania, on the other hand, nine plus two local. Huh. Nine versus seven, but more local, plus three local. I think it's like a wash. And in fact, I know the answer. We're not going to build either of these. For sure, we're not going to build either of them. I'd much rather, I'm, a, I'm actually just going to get another Yorktown class instead. And we'll upgrade this one with for the extra 110 or whatever, making her extremely, extremely well equipped from an AA perspective. Not as good as the Saratogas, I mean the Lexington, which we haven't unlocked yet, but I actually prefer the Yorktown, as I've already mentioned, for the greater amount of um, aircraft. So the best anti-aircraft defense is your fighters, right? Actually, in this game, I'm not sure that's true. <laughs> the anti-aircraft is pretty good. So let's queue this up, build it, and that is absolutely what we're going to keep. I could have actually start laid down a second Yorktown and then upgraded them at a later time. We can upgrade them at any point. But basically, I just didn't do that. Uh, and now at Mare Island, what I'm going to do is start building a convoy. So I want one tanker and then we're gonna start building some Liberty class cargo ships build two for now which takes us down to exactly one war bond remaining no money left to build more but that's fine um, we want to get those started and the tankers take a long time to build if we get any money any more war bonds in the next couple of days um, we can keep adding more Liberty ships I want to put four Liberty ships and one tanker that's a good I think that's a good sized uh, convoy fleet. We'll see. Okay, so we'll just speed up. 653 still. He's running really deep. Why is he running really deep? Okay, I think we will go ahead and look at this guy. This is dangerous. Can't launch torpedoes this deep. Why don't we just come up? They can detect us, I believe, when we surface a little more, but my worry is that I'm not going to be able to actually control this ship. Will he listen to my orders? Okay, good. Okay, so let's line up these shots then. Um, uh, let me give you, give me a second to think. Well, no, let's, let's not give myself a second to think. Let's just act. Let's do it this way actually. Slow down. Don't want any spread. None whatsoever. I think this is going to be good. We'll have to get used to again, I will have to get used to again, the uh, travel time of these torpedoes, their speed in this game. Pretty obvious what I'm trying to do here. No Dick O'Kane method necessary to hit these targets. I guess it's just kind of easy to guesstimate. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just barely lead her. So hopefully I don't miss in front or in back. Okay, uh, hold that thought. Huh. They've been resurrected. Okay, well let's send out another two to attack this. And we'll come back and attack more. In fact, I'm gonna tell Midway not to launch aircraft on her own. <laughs> we'll do it ourselves. Okay, back to the we're in the middle of a torpedo uh, attack, if you don't mind. 
Okay, good. All right, so. And as soon as we launch this, I'm gonna speed up so we can get out of the way of that tanker. Or maybe hard reverse. Okay, actually, I, I think hard reverse. Looks like she's going, okay, yeah, perfect. That's gonna be a hit. Scratch one oil taker. Oh my god, she takes more than one? You gotta be kidding me. Give her another. Hopefully that hits. It might not. It might not. It should. It didn't. Oh my gosh. Woe is me. That's not gonna hit. Let's just wait on these. Let's just get the shot we want. There's a lot of targets here. No need to like panic like I am and miss. Wow, that's what a bummer. We want to get this one though. I'm really surprised these oil tankers. I'm not too surprised. In real life, it's fine to think that a, an oil tanker would take two. I'm just surprised that this game is good about modeling that. Okay, let's try to cut her off. Is she escaping? She's definitely getting away. Oh boy. Okay, well, we'll just let the uh, drum handle her own business. I see I'm, I'm no use to her. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get this task force to come run them down. That's that's my my plan from the beginning, of course. Okay, good. So we'll redeem ourselves there, I hope. And this six dive bombers, hopefully, is going to be enough. Aircraft are getting repaired. All right, so we'll just speed ahead. Let's see what happens. Six five three. Aircraft are coming in. We're at 100. They're definitely going to eliminate one. I have a good feeling about that. Let's get the B-17 to go and head out. Probably gonna end up needing to attack as well. Yeah, I can't adjust her flight from here. I mean her height. Okay, let's pop back up, see where ships are. There they are. Oh wow, she was able to get back ahead of them. Or maybe they took some time to reform. In any case, we're going to have a second lease, lease on life here. The oil tankers are the most important. Cargo ships will let go. Ammunition ships we'd also like to take down. They do have a gun. Okay, I'm just trying to see if they all have guns. Looks like they all do. So let's try this again. Making sure we have that pencil. Okay, I'm feeling a lot more confident in this one. Periscope certainly certainly would be visible from from this distance, so we would not use it. Silent Hunter Three. I'm getting Silent Hunter Three flashbacks. it up. Slow down to just nothing more than a drift. Let her come.
Got her. I don't know how many she's gonna take. Oh god. Well, here goes like all my torpedoes. Probably could have just aimed better and gotten more effect, but it just didn't happen this time. We'll come away, we'll let the <laughs> drum continue to engage. How are we doing here? They took out one, okay good. So your job is to take out the remaining one. Let's go and lower, order you down to, yeah, 2300 if you don't mind. Fantastic. And that's good. That should be, that should take care of that. We'll catch up with this fleet. And I'll use, I, I want to use actually my um, torpedo bombers against them. They do have AA, local AA, but I'd rather save my dive bombers for any kind of battleships or any uh, military vessels we encounter. Oh, they actually have a spotter out. Well, you know what, I got, got some friendly, uh, friendly things to say about your spotter. Oh! Oh, look at this! So Pearl Harbor has successfully detected group of submersibles. We will engage. I'll give you order to engage as well. We'll let the rest fan out still because I want to see if there's any others out there. And we have this one will be able to strike. We won't know if there's any more beyond that. In fact, we really could retask Able Squadron Oh, you know what? We can actually retask. Well, Able Squadron. What am I talking about? They're all Able Squadron. <laughs> we can retask Task Force 19 to go after these guys. Actually, they were pretty much on a line, intercept line already. So let's just go ahead and do that. They're going to have to submerge when the aircraft come over, just to make it a little bit more difficult. Um, we can actually drop down to the floor and get them anyway. Wait, where are they? There, good. There they are. Well, we're coming. They may not even know we're coming yet, but we are. So that was fortuitous. We caught some submarines. Looks like our wildcats are about to shoot down this one spotter. It's, that's just the furthest you can get from a fair fight. <laughs> Gonna order this guy to land. This is not exactly true, I found. Although, I, I mean, it is con a little bit concerning to see. <laughs> okay, these guys, looks like they took out their, their target. Is he still at 69? Looks like he climbs back up to 8,000 every time. Okay, that's fine. We'll just hold his hand. And I'll increase this to whatever he's at by the time he actually gets onto the target. I'm fine with 3,000, that's plenty good. Okay, Task Force 12 is completed. That's actually good. Is Task Force 12 the battleships? They're repaired already? Seems unlikely. Alright, don't miss this time. So two groups of destroyers. Kind of interesting. She's already been damaged. Huh. And... Oh my gosh! Holy cow. A narrow miss, but yet another miss. Boy. Well, we'll get the two back out to do it again. And they probably will get the job done. How is... So 443, that's good. They took out a cargo ship or two cargo ships and you're out of torpedoes. Okay, that's good. So go ahead and move to recon Marshall Islands. Continue your movement. Task Force 17 is gonna be able to pick up where you left off. So we're completely okay with this actually. Oh, this is making a toll. Wow, so because I did not destroy the, air, the hangar um, we actually are able to get the airfield operational. This is great. I'm really glad that we have this one scouting plane. I thought it was from our carrier group, but 
I was a little worried about the fuel situation coming back, but uh, turns out this is land-based, which is which is great. We're gonna have some eyes in the sky. Okay, so there's still four submersibles. Okay, you're out of ammunition. I yeah, I know. It's fine. We will take you back. We need you to get radar anyway. In fact, how far away are these from being completed? Eleven days. That's still a ways. So I'm, you know, we're gonna push on with the. The drum. The drum is still going to do her mission to scout Marshall Islands. We might encounter some other fleets on the way. I mean, it'd be good to use her as a scouting vessel. So, that's what she is. Our early warning. Oh, this destroyer. Oh, that's the level bomber. Okay, yeah. That's right. Unfortunately, all those bombing runs do... I mean, it's so minor. It's just inconsequential in the grand scheme of things. But it does take away our available bombs at midway. I think I set... Pearl Harbor to high priority. I should, I did not, but I should have. And there's even something to be said about making Johnson Island high priority. Okay, so our scouting planes are coming back. See, he's gonna make it. He's fine. Enemy fleet destroyed. Hooray! Our dive bombers did it. Wait, what? Oh, I guess I only launched one. Well, that's fine. They got the job done, so. It must have been sufficient. And now we have two ASWs going back. Yeah, that's very confusing. Okay, let's go to Task Force 12 being finished here. Task Force 12? 18? I believe these might have been um, the fleets that are no longer formed. Okay, so we have some here who are not on I'll have to go back through this list at the end of this and make sure that anybody who's not already in combat, like the drum, or we have the Yorktown down there, are all set to increase morale. So you're fine. 20. You guys are good. And this is actually, you guys are actually on en route. Okay, Midway, you're allowed to once again launch <laughs> scout airplanes. Um, yeah, that's fine. How are we doing down here? Not quite in range. I probably could send, once the Saratoga gets here, I can probably send her down to help out with uh, Terawa and the Gilbert Islands immediately. Let's keep pushing forward here, times 100, times 25. I feel a little safer. We're gonna go slow, I mean, this is, Exciting, but what the heck's going on? Just doing a dance. Torpedo boats are pretty useless anyway. Okay. So this is the important one for me. When are these torpedo planes? And we you know we should do our due diligence, continue to scout. We can probably push these almost to the edge of the range just because they are going in the same direction we are now. And let's not be uh, neglecting our, our flanks. Worst thing that can happen is that a fleet sneaks up on us. We are not equipped to fight in close quarters. <laughs> we only have one <laughs> We have one vessel that's really decent at uh, close range fighting, and even then it's kind of a stretch to say that she's going to be able to do much on her own. Maybe be able to take out one enemy heavy cruiser, if we're lucky. Certainly we could with the help of the dive bombers, but... Yeah, so he's just running deep and moving out of the way. That's fine. Mainly, we just want him to get out of there so that our... It's good that they're keeping tabs on the enemy. It's important, but... Dive bombers are well in range now, but again, I don't want to use my precious dive bombers. We'd much rather use... Uh, my torpedo bombers. And how's this little fight going? Actually, Johnston Island is now in probably capable of launching some... Oh, interesting. Oh, and uh, I forgot we should be building more. So these are 
takes 23 days, so 24 days for the build these, and I guess it's 12 days for the liberties. 13 days. Okay, so it's been two days, so it's 25 for the tank. So we have like 10 more days to get the funds for the last two liberty um, for that cargo fleet. We should be just fine. Just waiting to see what we want to do next. Johnson Island, I think it would make a lot of sense for us to upgrade this to a minor port. Really does seem to make sense to me. I think it increases the war bond gain per day. But more importantly, we can have more, um, like we have one <laughs> spotter. <laughs> uh, I want any ASW. Go get after this. It looks like we actually did hit them. One of the submarines was hit, but... Our scouts are returning. We have not noticed anything else in this area, which is nice. It's good to know. Things We feel safe. Almost in torpedo range. Torpedo plane range. Okay, be on map. Oh! Okay, this is interesting. We've now spotted two light cruisers in the area. So they are, according to this, further northwest. So we're just about at this little island thing. And they're a little bit further northwest. Okay, that's two light cruisers. We can probably send some dive bombers after that. Like where is, you have to look for the crosshair to know the exact location. So this is where the, exactly where the drum is, which means the convoy's probably down here, maybe over here. And the light cruisers are up here. I don't think there's too much as, there's no, I don't think there's any such thing as too much overkill. I'm gonna send three dive bombers per light cruiser, that might be overkill, but let's do it anyway. So we'll, our um, Yorktown has to turn facing north, deploy those aircraft, and then we'll be able to track down and hunt those light cruisers, which are not too big of a threat to the um, drum, I would say. Let's speed back up to times 25 and actually I think we're probably going to call the video to a close here. I mean, pretty good place. So the outstanding issues for us is we have our ASW tracking down these submersibles. As we get more ASW in, it looks like one more has landed and one more is just about to land. When these two land, they have now landed. We'll also send them out in pursuit. So uh, we'll track those down. In the meantime, we have our 18 dive bombers, which we'll split into two groups, and we'll get these to also um, do their job. Three per, I don't think we'll take many casualties. If we immediately destroy both light cruisers, they won't be available to fire at the opposing squadron. Uh, 21, what's 21? Oh, Clark, okay, good. So she finished, but she's on the way. That's fine, and five is low on ammunition. Good, so we cleared all our fleet alerts. <laughs> and very good, we have enough war bonds to buy one last uh, cargo ship for this one. And we'll call this video to a close here. So, uh, there we go. So we're making slow progress. It's gonna be a while for us to t actually take Tarawa, but we have a lot of meat on our plate already. We're gonna sink a few ships next episode, I, I can foresee. So I'm looking forward to that. So until then, thanks for watching and take care.